Hi students, welcome to our channel W4 Wide Variety. This is a part 1 video. In this session, we will discuss the introduction part of the topic solution. Let us start the class. Before getting into the topic, let me ask the question related to this topic. What is the difference between mixture and pure substance? In lower class you have already studied the topic mixture and uh, pure substance. What is the difference? We know pure substance contains only one type of component or one type of molecules, right? That means pure substance is the one which is made up of only one kind of molecules or one kind of components. Then what do you mean by mixture? Mixture is formed when two or more substances are mixed together in any proportion. In the mixture contains any type of molecules or components in any proportion. That is the difference. Pure substance contains only one type of molecule but in mixture there are different type of molecules or components. So we know there are two types of uh, mixture, uh, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. You know the definition of homogeneous mixer and heterogeneous mixer, right? Ho in homogeneous mixer, we know the components are distributed uniformly in the in the in the mixer. But in heterogeneous mixer, not distributed uniformly. That is the difference. So now we can come to the point solution. That is our topic, main topic. So when you hear the word solution what comes first in your mind it can be anything so for example tea i can say tea is a solution what are the ingredients present in this tea water is the sugar is the tea powder is the then milk is the right so after mixing all the ingredients uh, when we drink the tea every sip till the end it has same taste right till the end of the sip or till the end of that tea you'll get the same taste right that means what the components which is present in the tea are mixed uniformly enter into the mixture hence we can say these type of mixture we can call it as homogeneous mixture that means if the composition are same in throughout the mixture we can call them as homogeneous mixture now you understood what you mean by homogeneous mixture right so now we can go to the definition part of solution solutions are mixer which type of mixer solutions are homogeneous mixer of two or more than two component it's a mixture of two or more than two component so which type of mixer homogeneous mixer homogeneous mixer means what homogeneous mixer mean that its composition and properties are uniform throughout the mixer their composition and their properties are uniform throughout enter the mixer these type of mixer we can call homogeneous mixer so solutions are homogeneous mixer example tea so we know when we drink the tea till the end of the tea we'll get the, we will get the same taste till the end, uh, right every sip has the same taste that means what it is a homogeneous mixer homogeneous mixer means what uniformly distributed throughout the mixer okay <coughs> now we can see some examples see salt water that means solution of salt so salt plus water we'll add salt into the water we'll get the salt solution right so when we'll drink that solution we'll get the same taste and in, in enter the solution and sugar example. solution same example only sugar only instead of taking um, salt we are taking now i'm saying gold is a solution 22 carat gold and 2 carat copper is mixed up. then i'm saying this is a solution now you all must be thinking how can gold called as solution so you have to 
remember one thing that is solutions are not only in liquid state it can be in another state also but it should satisfy the condition what is the condition it should be a homogeneous mixture that means the composition of the component is should be uniformly distributed whenever we see the gold from any side composition of gold is uniform that's why we are saying it is a solution whenever we see the composition of the gold that is uniformly distributed hence it can be called as solution okay so we can dissolve in solid so it can be solution liquid can be dissolved in liquid it can be solution gas can be dis dissolved in gas it can be solution or solid can dissolve in liquid it can be solution but the composition should be uniform okay now we can take uh, one example if you dissolve five spoon of salt in one glass of water but some of the salt not sugar salt is still visibly at the bottom of the container understood suppose you had a five spoon of water in uh, five spoon of salt in water uh, one glass of water after mixing well maybe uh, some salt is still visible there at the bottom of the container okay the undissolved part of undissolved salt is or sugar is not part of the solution understood undissolved we know some salt are not uh, salt are not dissolved there that undissolved salts are not part of the solution undissolved salt is not part of the not a part of the solution only the dissolved or invisible salt is the part of the solution in a solution you cannot see the solute okay you cannot see the solute so you see the sentence then this undissolved salts are not the part of a solution only the dissolved or invisible salt is the part of the solution suppose you have taken the one glass of water and you added five spoon of uh, sugar or whatever salt after mixing well you can see some salt at the bottom of the uh, glass or bottom of the water so uh, that salt no or sugar which you can see that is not the part of the solution okay only the dissolved salt or sugar is the part of the solution so the dissolved salt we can call solute okay we can call solute so here we can say here water is solvent and the salt is solute so you can reverse it if you dissolve three spoon of water in one glass of salt three spoon of water and in one glass of salt so what is solute and what is solvent the large amount of the substance that will be solvent and the less amount that will be the dissolved and less amount that will be salt clear that means here we can say three spoon of water we are taking and one glass of salt so which one is solute solute and which one is solvent sugar is or um, salt is solvent and water is solute because water is less amount now we can see the definition of solute and solvent so what is solute and solvent solvent the component that is present in the largest quantity is known as solvent Sol solvent will always represented by a understood that means in the solution uh, which component is largest that component will be a solvent okay rest of the things rest of the dissolved things or disappeared things will be a solute if it's not dissolved that is not part of the solution clear if it is not dissolved that is not part of the solution clear all of you so what do you mean by solute one or more component it can be one or more component right present the solution other than the solvent are called solutes that that is the substance which dissolves or disappear in the solvent to form a solution is called a solute it is denoted by b
then in 12th class we will discuss only the binary component compound okay that means in 12th class we will study only binary solution that means only two components are present okay now uh, now I, I hope you understood that one uh, what is the difference between solute and solvent uh, then which which one is solute and which one is solvent uh, in a solution uh, the disappear or un, uh, dissolved substance only uh, solute or only the part of the solution okay the characteristics of a solution solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances that you know that is the definition of solution then the particles of solute in a solution cannot be seen by our naked eye right because we know uh, the substance uh, disappear that is a part of the solution right so that is a solute now a solution uh, does not allow beams of light to scatter because the components are uniformly distributed then a solution is stable that means we can't separate it because it is stable only then a solute form a solution cannot be separated by filtration we can't separate that one by filtration because it, it is not visible there the size of the particles or components are very less so we can't uh, separate through a filter paper or mechanically even it is composed of only one phase right because it's homogeneous mixture the components are uniformly distributed so we can consider that one as a one phase we can't separate it by mother then last point that is types of solution okay. the solution can <coughs> be found in three states solid <coughs> liquid and gas the solute and solvent Next. can also be in three states the physical state of the resulting solution can be decided on the basis of physical states of solvent and solute so solution can be in three states that is solid liquid and gas the solute and solvent can also be in three states Solute can be in three states. Solvent can be in three states. The physical state of physical state of the solution can be decided only on the basis of the physical state of the solvent. So uh, and the solute. Who is deciding the physical state? That is decided by solvent and uh, the state of the solvent and uh, solute. We can see the table. Then you will understand more. Um, he, here is the type of solution. There is a gaseous solutions. There are gaseous solutions, liquid solutions, salt solution. So, in gaseous solution, the state is depending upon the on the solvent actually. That means type of solution is depend upon the solvent because solvent is a large amount. Okay, you see the first point: gaseous solution, gas, gas. Solute is gas, solvent is gas. So, solvent we know that is a large uh, quantity, right? So, if the solvent is gas, so that is which type of solution? Gaseous solution. If the solvent is liquid, that is which type of solution? Liquid solution. If the solvent is solid, that is which type of solution? Solid solution. There are three type of solution: gaseous solution, liquid solution, and the solid solution. So, if the solvent is, we, we, which one is large? That is a uh, state of that solution or the type of the solution. If the solvent is gas, so gaseous solution. If the solvent is liquid, that is liquid solution. If the solvent is solid, that is solid solution. Then, in gaseous solution, there are Three type of solute are present: gaseous, uh, gas, solute are in gas, gaseous state, liquid state, and solid state. If the solute is gas and the solvent is gas, we can see the example. That is a gaseous solution. We can see the example mixture of oxygen and nitrogen gas. Solute is oxygen and uh, solvent is nitrogen gas. The liquid gas, chloroform and uh, nitrogen gas. Chloroform is a liquid state and uh, Nitrogen is a gaseous state, so that is a gaseous solution because uh, here nitrogen uh, nitrogen will be a solvent. Okay, then solid gas. Solid is a solute, and the gas is solvent here. So camphor is solute because that is in solid state. The nitrogen gas is a solvent because that is a gaseous state. So nitrogen gas is large amount, so that is a solvent. So, it's, uh, this is which type of solution? That is a gaseous solution. Similarly, liquid solution. Solute is gas and uh, solvent is liquid state. 
then example you can see oxygen dissolved in water so oxygen, oxygen is a gaseous state and water is a liquid state here water is a large amount because water will act as a solvent that is a liquid state so we can answer this one as which type of solution liquid solution then liquid liquid this is a liquid solution because solvent is liquid here we know solvent is large amount so ethanol is a liquid state that is dissolved in water so that is a solvent water is a solvent here then solid liquid glucose dissolved in water glucose is solid state that is dissolved in water so water here will act as solvent so that is a solvent in large amount so, so this is which type of solution this is a liquid solution then solid solution gas solid solution of hydrogen in palladium see hydrogen is a gas solid is what palladium is a metal that is in solid state so palladium is a large amount so we can say that is which is all which solution which type of solution solid solution because large amount is solid substance the liquid solid amalgam of mercury mercury amalgam with the sodium mercury amalgam with the sodium so here sodium is a solid state that is a large amount so that is a solvent so this then liquid is amalgam of mercury so this which type of solution solid solution because solid is a sodium is a solid here that is in solvent that is a solvent right then solid solid copper dissolved in gold both are solid copper is in solid state gold is a solid state but here gold is large amount i said example no just before so that same thing so there are three type of solution gaseous solution liquid solution and solid solution so our introductions or basic things of solutions are over so these are the introduction lecture of the solution next video we will learn the solubility and the method of concentration and all the things that is molarity uh, molality everything so please visit next video thank you all of you